When I create a collage, I prepare by going through magazines, cutting out pictures of people, objects, and patterns, and I organize them into piles. And then I take them to my play zone, and I just mess around with them a little bit, see what I can make, what works, what doesn't. I tend to choose more toward the black and white filtered subjects because I like to use patterns and objects as pops of color to layer over my subject. This creates a less busy composition, which helps the viewer to focus on the subject and meaning. When I start to get comfortable with certain pieces, I get to work by making it into art. So here's my model I chose. So um, I take into consideration the size of my object. So um, let's take this camera for example and place it right here. The items that are big in scale should be placed closer on the picture plane. Objects such as like these sunglasses. I'm just going to place those right over her face. There, yeah, that looks cool. Okay. And then whenever I go to place actual patterns on here, I kind of have to mess around with it a little bit. So I found something that would be cool. These would be, it kind of ties into the color of the glasses. And those would be cool for sleeves. Now I couldn't decide on a shirt. But I've got several pieces, so we'll see if I decide by the time I'm done showing you. There's that one. There's that one. And then there's this one. It's the same one that matches these, and I'm kind of leaning more towards it. I want the whole sad kind of look to this one, and I'll explain my story later that kind of fits well with this. So I think I'm going to stick with this look here and then I'm going to put, I'm going to start layering a little bit more and maybe put that in the camera. So that there is what I think I'm going to go with for this composition. So once I'm satisfied with the layout, I'm going to start adhering the clippings to the paper. Some people would use this kind of glue. I am totally against it because washable glue will make newspaper uh, clippings, it'll make it really wrinkly when it starts to dry. So we've come along to this stuff. This is the magic potion, so forget that. We don't need that. Now I'm going to pull up a seat and actually do some drawing. Now I'm going to sharpen some details of this camera because since it is closer up on the scale, it should be clearer. As I mentioned before, this piece holds some meaning. Um, it's suggested in the colors of the pattern chosen. I mean, it's blue, she's gray, she's frowning, she's sad. And the statement I was trying to make was that people are too fixated on technology and social media. They're so worried about getting the most likes that they forget to live in the moment. The sunglasses represent the way social media shades the world around us, this world, this beautiful world around us. If only we could just put down the camera and see the world with our own two eyes, maybe it would be a better place to live in, you know? Not so blue, not so sad. Just see the world and enjoy it while we're here. <music> 